In this video, we will solve the following problem. A wheel with a radius of 12 inches rotates at 50 revolutions per minute. What is the linear velocity of a point on the wheel? In this figure, we have a circle that represents a wheel with a radius of 12 inches. When the wheel rotates one time, it completes a full revolution, because a revolution is one complete turn or one full rotation of the wheel. One revolution is the same as 360 degrees. We can also say that one revolution is the same as 2 pi radians because 2 pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. The given quantity of 50 revolutions per minute represents the angular velocity of a point on the wheel. The angular velocity is represented by the letter omega and it is equal to 50 revolutions per minute. Angular velocity shows how much of an angle an object travels on a circle in a certain amount of time. Now, because in this problem we have to find the linear velocity, we will use a formula that requires the angular velocity to be expressed in radians per minute instead of revolutions per minute. This formula is V equals omega times R. V represents the linear velocity, omega represents the angular velocity, and it has to be in radians per minute instead of revolutions per minute, and R represents the radius. So, in this formula, if we are given the angular velocity, that is, in radians per unit of time, and we multiply it by the radius, we will get the linear velocity. If you are not familiar with this formula, then I will leave a link in the description below for a video that is an introduction to linear and angular velocity. Now, to be able to use this formula, we need to convert the angular velocity from revolutions per minute to radians per minute. So, omega equals 50 revolutions per minute. And now, to convert it to radians, we will multiply it by 2 pi radians over 1 revolution. And because 1 revolution is the same as 2 pi radians, when we divide 2 pi radians by 1 revolution, this fraction is equal to 1. Now, we will cancel the units for revolution, and we will be left with radians per minute. From here, 50 multiplied by 2 pi is 100 pi. Then the angular velocity will be 100 pi radians per minute. Once we have the angular velocity expressed in radians per minute, we can use this formula to find the linear velocity. So, V equals omega times R. Then we will replace omega with 100 pi radians per minute and R with 12 inches. Then 100 pi times 12 is 1200 pi inches per minute. So again, 100 pi radians per minute is the same as 100 pi per minute, and if we multiply it by 12 inches, we get 1200 pi inches per minute. This is approximately 3770 inches per minute. So then, the linear velocity of a point on the wheel is approximately 3770 inches per minute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.